Good morning from Playa Blanca and it's August. Can you believe it's August? So that means it's time for an update on the Barcelo Papagayo, the biggest hotel in Lanzarote. See how it's been built, how much further they've got since last month, and we just follow the progress every single month. And while we do, we have a little chat on the way. So let's go and take a look at the Barcelo Papagayo and when will it be ready is the big question. Drop us a comment, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go take a look. So here we go. Look at the sheer size of this place. They've built a new building there, look. You can see just a new building coming along there. That wasn't there before. I don't know what that's gonna be. Looks like some kind of pool bar, I would say. And look in the distance, we're gonna go and have a look at that reception. That little Chinese sort of temple thing. Windows are in, a bit of paints on there. It is definitely bigger than it was. And I noticed a little sign on the um, on the cover there saying to inquire about locales. So my little sort of uh, guess as to what these places are at the front. If you can see those at the front, we're going to go and put the uh, camera over in a minute. These places at the front, I think, are going to be like little shops or shops or what they call locales out here um, that businesses can rent. So that would be nice. It'd be like a nice little shopping shopping area down here. It'll probably just be bars and restaurants, I would have thought. But it, it's going to add an extra an extra part. So you'll have the, the main town. Then you'll walk a little bit further. You've got the Papagayo Centre where Burger King is and things. Then you'll walk down here and you'll probably have some bars and restaurants and shops down here as well. And then you'll get to the Marina Rubicon, which is over there. So there's going to be plenty of things for you. So I was going to stick the camera over there, but as you can see, these locales block the view of the hotel. So they're quite high now. They weren't before. Before you could see the hotel in the background. So we're going to go and take a further walk all the way around. As you know, I always do a 360. I'll go all the way around. There's a new thing being built there, look. Let me just zoom in there. That's new. That looks like some kind of... Hmm, I wonder what that could be. It's got sort of a shaded, a shaded roof, so maybe that's going to be a shaded area. It is going to be absolute chaos, isn't it? It's huge, look at the size of it. Look at the sheer size of it. So let's just have a little look at the views of Playa Blanca because I know you enjoy those. So there we go, it's a beautiful day. It's August the, I don't know what it is. The August the 8th, 7th or 8th, it's a Monday. Um, August already, I cannot believe we are in August, which means we've got six months of absolute, six months, six weeks of absolute carnage and then it's winter and then it will calm down again because i tell you what when i say absolute carnage it is absolute carnage at the moment it is so busy boats are full buses are full there's a shortage of buses so tours are full everything's full so i always say it and it isn't a sales plug it's just me telling you if you're coming to Lanzarote and you want to do excursions, get them booked in advance. Otherwise, you are not going to get on them. So there's a link below. You can book all your excursions. And uh, we're going to go and take a further walk and I'll show you the Pueblo Maranero, which is no longer, and uh, the front of this beautiful hotel. Let's go see. So here we go. Here is the Pueblo Maranero with views of the uh, Papagayo, Barcelona Papagayo as well. And you can see it's completely gone. Um, we say in every video what it's going to be. And they said it's going to be like a park area, like a recreational park. However, there seems to be a little bit of progress on here. They've built, they've built something, these squares. So they're definitely building something. And the lift, the lift to nowhere is still there as well. <laughs> That's the elevator to nowhere. Look, they've left that in. So it's very strange. Unless there's going to be a car park underneath. Maybe there is a car park down there. But there you go. And there you can see the hotel in the background. So if this is a park, it'll be beautiful. But I'm sure the space could be used for something a bit more entertaining than a park. Let's go take a further look at the hotel. So here we go. We've clambered over the waste ground just for you guys to bring you 
a closer look at the rooms. I can see some rooms here. Look at this. So, windows are in, sliding doors are in. Look at that. So those look like nice ground floor apartments there. All looking like they've got a sea view. So they all look like they're gonna look, look out to the sea and to uh, Marina Rubicon. In saying that, they have built something there. So maybe you won't see from the ground floor, but you'll certainly see from the top. And just look how big this place is. I mean, that's like a hotel in itself and that's just one side. So it's certainly coming along, a lot of glass. So whoever gets the contract to be the window cleaner here, it's gonna be quids in. <laughs> because uh, for those of you that live in Lanzarote, you know windows get dirty every bloody day with the sand and the kalimas and all that. So if you're a window cleaner and you speak Spanish, give them a call. <laughs> maybe you'll get the deal of us the deal of your life look at that loads so they're busy there look you got the guys here in the morning first thing in the morning look they're working in that part of the area which looks like the the sort of crossover to walk through the rooms wow look at that so let's go take a look at the front of the hotel my favorite i always like the front because you get to see the little chinese temple or the reception area and if I see anybody that works here, I'll ask them when it's going to be ready. But they always say end of the year. Well, actually, they said it was going to be ready August 2022. Hmm, we're in August now. Certainly not ready. So there we go, look. All the guys getting ready for a big day's work in this heat. I would hate to be working on a building site in this weather. But that's what these guys do so don't forget that when you're sitting in these beautiful big hotels at the pool that people have with their bare hands almost killed themselves so that you can enjoy so that you can enjoy the sun and the hotels but look at that look at the chinese temple it's like something out a kung fu panda look at that so zoom in look so there it is i'm going to get a closer look so that's going to be the reception so i believe or it might not be the reception no i definitely think that's going to be the entrance and that's going to be the reception let's take a closer look so there we go my favorite part which is this bit and as i said i think it's going to be the reception area with beautiful views all the way across the hotel, the hotel with the pool and the uh, and the sea views, and looking over to Puerto Ventura and Lobos, that is going to be beautiful. And that is what you see when you enter Playa Blanca now. Before it used to be the tropical island hotel that you'd see the big white dome, and you'd know that you'd entered Playa Blanca. Now you can see this in the distance beautiful let's go and have a look at the last part at the side the other side and then we'll leave you in peace so there you go when i said about the locales look it says next opening is a commercial zone so it looks like the hotel is going to definitely be surrounded by shops maybe bars and restaurants i don't know but what's called a commercial zone usually means there's going to be like a big shopping area and i'll tell you what maybe they'll put a decent supermarket in playa blanca so i don't have to leave <laughs> we're, de we're desperate for a little or a mercadona mind you this these guys this hotel is owned by the uh Hippodino group so i doubt we're gonna get that do you there you go look that's the other side of the hotel beautiful massive huge so that's the other side and you can see you've got the chinese temple there just look how far it goes it goes for absolute miles absolute miles and miles there's a lady here on the door so it's right next to the dreams hotel so you've got your dreams hotel there i would say that if you're stopping in one of those rooms you probably want to ask not to be 
Um, but I have, I have known people that have stopped there. It's, it's, there's very little um, effect with the new hotel being built. Look at that, huge. And there's some of the rooms, look. And let's get a view down there. Beautiful. So I'm gonna go and ask this lady when it's gonna be ready. So there we go, guys. That was the new Barcelo Papagayo for August. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, we've got loads more coming. We'll be back with this one in September. But until September, we'll be doing loads of videos all around the island and telling you what to do. If you've got this far and you're coming to Lanzarote, get your excursions booked in advance. There is a link below. Things are busy. I just asked that beautiful lady um, at the entrance. She said she hasn't got a clue when it's ready. Everyone keeps asking her the same question. She doesn't bloody know. <laughs> but she's nice. And she said she's seen my videos as well, which is great. So there you go, guys. We'll see you soon. And uh, see, see you in Lanzarote whenever you get here. Bye.